What's up, everybody? We are back on uh, the six million dollar farm. Chickens are clucking. Seven o'clock in the morning. We're gonna kind of have a look at what we can do today. I don't think that stuff's quite ready yet. Um, we do need to get our mowing equipment ready to go. We got field 69 all cultivated and ready to be planted. We're going to hold off and plant those or plant that as corn. And we might plant this soybean field as corn as well. Just have a nice big crop of corn. So we are going to get some stuff parked back where it belongs. I need to park that header somewhere. Just trying to think of where I want to put it. I could just pull straight through there and put it in there. That's what we're going to do. But hope everybody's having a good week. Uh, it's currently Tuesday. And I'm having a decent week so far. If you notice from the camera. Uh, might look a little different behind me. We did some rearranging today. I moved my computer desk and a couple things around. Put a recliner back behind me. That way we had a everything we needed and yeah so we're back at making videos again and I got some stupid force feedback problems yeah see that's center and it's trying to pull my wheel so we got to do some adjusting there but we're gonna get this pulled in right where we want it something about like that and then we kind of screwed ourselves by putting that hedge there. I'm stuck on something that doesn't exist. Alright, can we fit through here? Hope so. This stupid... They need to fix the stupid force feedback crap. I've had mine turned off for a long time. And it still, like, comes and goes. Um, I haven't been having issues with it really lately. But I'm going to have to adjust this real quick. We'll come back once we get everything parked up and uh, get to the store to get some mowing equipment. Alright, guys. We are pulling up to the store here. And we're going to do two things while we're here. One thing is I'm going to add... Some different tires to this thing. It just doesn't look quite right for what we're going to need it to do for mowing. It does have the front drive shaft PTO there that you can see. So we're going to go ahead and customize this bad boy. See what we can do with wheels. So we can put twin wheels on it, which looks okay. I really want like dual narrows. That looks like the only thing we're going to get with those. And it might not be possible on this tractor, but I was going to try and see if it was. Yeah, see, no narrows at all on that one. No narrows in that one. So we can get rear narrow twins like that. Which is fine, or regular twin wheels. Because they don't have the option for, you know, four twin wheels. So we're just going to go ahead and go with that. Um, go ahead and make sure we do have the most horsepower possible. Which we don't. So I'm going to do that now. So $40,000 we got there. So let's, uh, I'll just walk over here. We're going to go over here to the store. And see what kind of mowers we got for uh, when we get ready for our grass. So I just want to look in here and see what grass land carries. Like I don't like this can roll and plant. I don't know if it's actually necessary. Like if that's just a cheap way to not have to buy a um, feeder. Since we're going to be big time in the hay in business, I kind of want to see, like these do have the collector, 
there $164,000 and it's 12.3 meters. So what is this one? 10.2. So it's only an extra 2 meters and it's way cheaper. So we're just going to go with this. We're going to go with the Cavernolin dial. Get that one and we'll get the front mower. Go with Cavernolin. Should be good to go. Now we've got our two mowers. We're not going to worry about getting anything else just yet. We'll come back and get the tethers whenever we actually get to cut. I don't think it's quite ready. It's hard for me to tell because, all jokes aside, I have the real grass mowing mod on. So it tells me I can harvest that grass whenever I want. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I'm just... It doesn't give me much options to know what's going on. So, I'm going to get hooked up to this thing and head back to the farm. And we'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so I think we're going to go ahead and bite the bullet and say that this stuff's ready. I mean, looking at it, playing it in with the other grass, it looks about the same height. So I am going to go ahead and just mow it. So we're going to get started on that and um, our next goal, let not lower, there we go, our next goal is going to be, hold on, sorry about that, I'm trying to get my uh, sim dashboard to work, it's not lowering them. I don't know why, but it wouldn't lower them together just now. Will it turn them all on? And let's make sure we are going to be in swath mode. Not right now. So if we go control Y. Okay, now we're going to be making a swath. So our next goal is going to be obviously to make this hay and then I'm actually probably gonna get us some sheep um, and we're gonna upgrade the chickens I know I went with just a small pin to start but that was kind of a dumb move on my part I should have just went for it with a bigger chicken coop but it is what it is I can't really do much about it now and so we're gonna get started on this um, I just realized you guys can't hear the tractors, so I'm sorry about that. I'll fix that when we come back for the after the time lapse. So we're going to go ahead and time lapse this now, and when we come back, we'll start tedding this stuff, which I just realized means that we're wasting our time swathing this. So maybe we just get a loading wagon and turn this stuff into silage. That's what I'm thinking. So we'll see you guys in a bit. So I was just thinking, 
we're gonna have to find somewhere to put a silage clamp now because since I decided to swath this stuff I mean I could still tet it and I might you know continue with that idea I might still just bail it as hay I'll just have to tet it and windrow it again which really isn't a super big deal like it's not a killer but I was actually kind of hoping that I wouldn't have swathed this now that I'm thinking about it because now we're going to be stuck tedding it and windrowing it again because when you ted it it'll throw it all out and scatter it again. So we're going to go ahead and carry on with this field. We're not going to time lapse it anymore because we are going to have a lot of content with tedding this, wind rowing it, and uh, bailing it. So we'll probably get this at least mowed and tedded today, but that's probably going to do it. We'll just have to kind of see what our time frame looks like. Alright, my head tracking's being stupid. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, we are back whole field mode we're gonna put down the mowing equipment storage over here and probably a bale storage if we can find one let's go look in the shop here need all shed Wait, bigger than don't want to spend too much money gotta be able to tip the bales inside of it This would be great for bale storage, but a bulk haul. This will be good for the mowing equipment. Go ahead and throw that right there. This stuff's expensive, so I'm not going to have much money left after this. Put that too close to the road. But I don't know if we'll be able to stack our bales in that or not. Needs to be a pretty tall roof. Be able to hold the bales in it. Let's see, what else is our option? That's pretty much it. So, let's just go with this one. Makes us $480 a month. Nice, I guess. Go ahead and put it. Oh, I really want something with sides on it, but we're not going to be able to fit very many bales in something like that. Or that. Oh no, that might work out alright. Something like that, and then we could back the bales in the middle and move them around with the front ro front loader as need be. How do we change the color? Or there was a way to change color. Maybe you can't change color on this one. Kind of a bummer if you can't. I don't like that the power lines are coming through that one. Is there a better place to put it up here? Yeah, let's put our bale storage right there. How bad is that going to deform the ground? Right about like... It's pretty bad. Hopefully we can smooth that out. Losing some of our grass there, but got to smooth that out or it's going to be horrible.
not smoothing it very well. What we probably are going to have to do, take it like that, level it all the way out, then we can smooth that. Do a little bit better of a slope for us. smooth that out a little bit better we don't want too much of an incline going in there because it's gonna make it hard to tip the bales in there might be too hard anyway might have to set them outside and then come back with the front end loader and put them inside but at first, we're probably going to sell them off pretty quickly. It's not going to be that big of a deal. We can get the slope real nice. Looking all right. We're down to about a half a million now. We still have to buy some mowing equipment. But we're going to leave that like that. See how that works for us. And we'll come back when we get the tether. All right, we are back at the shop, and we're going to go ahead and change the tires on this thing. I just don't really care for the way it looks. And go ahead and go win wheels. Cost us 16 grand. We're down to 300,000. But as you can see, we got some equipment over there. I went ahead and bought the biggest tether, biggest wind rower, and the best looking baler. We are going to do square bales, and the only other thing we're going to have to buy is going to be the bale loading trailer, because I'm going to keep some of these, of course, because we are going to get sheep, but I'm going to sell the majority of them, and I feel like we're going to have a decent amount of bales, so I don't think we're going to be hurting for um, feed for the sheep. I like the sheep because they literally only take a feed and that just makes it real easy especially since we're going to be more of a hay and uh silage type farm and we are our main crops basically are going to be hay and corn now we are going to have to alternate corn i think might not have to i'm going to try planting corn two years in a row and see what happens I might plant a cover crop in between, like some oil sea radish or something, just to hopefully help with, uh, you know, it being horrible. Or what we could do is rotate the corn and the grass between different fields. One year we can cut grass off of one field, till that up, make it corn, and then put grass in the corn field that we harvest this coming year. But we do still have soybeans that we have to get out of the field when it comes time to harvest. And the day is almost over for us. It's already almost 5 o'clock. So we're going to try to get this tetted before dark. And then we'll have to windrow and come back the next day to windrow and bale it. So we won't even get to get any of this baled today. Which I know sucks, but... We run out of time, and I'm trying to do an episode a day. So we'll come back to you when we get this all tetted. Alright guys, we are back, and we're just about done with the tetting. Um, it is going to be dark by the time we finish, so we're going to have to come back tomorrow and windrow it. Uh, I am going to see if we have enough time uh, for this video to be able to get windrowed and bailed. Um, so, if you see me again, and I'm not saying goodbye, that means we're going to windrow it and bail it in the morning. We do have some rain coming in, but hopefully it doesn't hurt anything. Um, 
you know the way this system works you just ted the grass and turn it into hay so it's not like it actually has to dry so I'm thinking the rains probably really not gonna mess with this but we'll see but we'll come back to you it'll be tomorrow morning and hopefully we can get this wind road and bailed in this video if not it'll be in the next one we'll see y'all in a bit one way or the other